Hello and welcome to AWZ News please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. One of the most dangerous asteroids ever found, Apophis, is paying us a visit. It will go close to Earth in 2029, just 32,000 kilometers, or around 19,900 miles, passing beneath geostationary satellite orbits and dazzling with a brightness comparable to that of a satellite. It is an uncommon occurrence that happens only once every few thousand years, and this event will make it visible to billions of people around the world with the naked eye. The fact that a NASA mission is currently its route to closely examine the asteroid makes it much more fascinating. But some may ask why we are sending a spacecraft to explore a celestial body that was formerly thought to be the most deadly asteroid, or why ground-based studies alone are not enough for understanding this particular asteroid. And lastly, above everything, is there reason to be worried? Apophis is shaped like a peanut shell and was initially found by scientists in 2004 when it was positioned around 170 million kilometers away from Earth. This 340M broad rock was first classified as 2004MN4. It appeared to be of little interest. It did, however, garner a lot of interest when further study revealed a 1 in 37 possibility of it crashing with Earth in 2029. The greatest likelihood of a major asteroid collision in recorded history was determined to be 1 in 37. The asteroid was thus dubbed Apophis, after the Egyptian god of destruction, and gained notoriety as the most dangerous asteroid ever discovered. Apophis made a far-off flyby of Earth in March 2021, which gave scientists the opportunity to use intense radar measurements to accurately revise Earth's orbit around the Sun. Everyone was relieved when the updated analysis categorically ruled out any major Earth impact events for the ensuing century. The Yarkovsky effect, which results from the interaction of the asteroid with solar radiation, is one element that cannot be disregarded. The day side of a revolving asteroid warms up as sunlight reaches it. The night side of the asteroid cools and loses heat as it rotates. The asteroid receives a tiny force from this, which over time may cause it to reverse course. Although the Yarkovsky effect is difficult to simulate, it can have a significant impact on the final location of asteroids. We don't know exactly how the Yarkovsky effect will affect Apophis orbit, so our understanding of its location as it gets closer to Earth in the upcoming years is restricted. This means that, depending on how hard the Yarkovsky effect is pushing on Apophis, scientists must take into account a variety of potential paths. A small number of these paths coincide with areas of space known as gravitational keyholes. Earth's gravity would bend Apophis' route in precisely the correct manner if it were to pass through a keyhole and strike an orbit after that. Since its discovery, astronomers have been monitoring Apophis's journey. Radar measurements and ground-based investigations show that the asteroid is gradually straying from a strictly gravitational orbit. The likelihood of an impact scenario in 2068 cannot be completely ruled out if this trend keeps up. Stated differently, there is still a remote possibility that during the next 50 years, this enormous asteroid may strike our planet. Among other things, variations in an object's temperature brought on by radiation exposure, asteroid composition, and stellar wind can all have an impact on the Yarkovsky effect. This means that making several, in-depth observations is necessary before we can draw any firm conclusions. And to fill in the blanks, NASA's OSIRIS Apex mission enters the scene. The identical spacecraft, OSIRIS-APEX, 
was launched in 2016 as OSIRIS-RX with the goal of gathering samples from the asteroid Bennu. It successfully landed on Bennu's surface on October 20, 2020, collected a sample, and returned to Earth on September 24, 2023. A capsule carrying pieces of Bennu was launched by the spacecraft into Earth's atmosphere. The capsule subsequently fell via parachute and landed in Utah, where the mission crew was excited to retrieve the samples. The biggest sample of an asteroid ever recovered and returned to Earth is the Bennu sample. Still, the spaceship resumed its trip. The spacecraft started a new mission, which we now call OSIRIS Apex, by firing its engines just 20 minutes after releasing the capsule holding the Bennu sample. It is now traveling to meet up with Apophis. Specifically, origins, spectral interpretation, resource identification, and security Apophis Explorer is what OSIRIS Apex stands for. On April 13, 2029, about one hour after Apophis completes its near approach to Earth, OSIRIS Apex will use Earth's gravity to enter an asteroid orbit. It will gather important data throughout the course of an 18-month investigation into Apophis. Apophis is not a sample that OSIRIS Apex will be able to get, unlike in the case of Bennu. But first, it will go close to the surface of the asteroid and use its thrusters to carry out a maneuver meant to reveal Apophis subsurface and provide scientists with information on its chemical and physical makeup. In one and a half years, OSIRIS Apex will map a large portion of the asteroid's surface. This will enable mission scientists to assess any significant alterations resulting from Apophis' short encounter with Earth's gravitational pull. Tidal forces, despite their modest size, have the ability to cause small landslides and unearth new material on the surface of asteroids for scientific investigation. The spacecraft will also precisely measure the orbital velocity of the asteroid to the meter scale. With this increased accuracy, scientists will be able to precisely project Apophis's future course. The current forecast horizon only extends until 2116, but OSIRIS Apex's observations might greatly increase it. However, many missions are aiming for Apophis, Therefore OSIRIS Apex is not the only spacecraft planned to visit it. A South Korean team has suggested one of these missions, which would launch a spacecraft in 2027 and arrive at Apophis in January 2029, well before Apophis's Earth flyby. The objective is to get a closer look at the structural alterations that the asteroid has undergone as a result of its near collision with Earth. Apophis Pathfinder and other missions with smaller spacecraft are also slated to launch in 2025 and 2026. After launch, the spacecraft will approach the asteroid Apophis in about a year, performing the first-ever close flyby of the asteroid. Additionally, during the 8th Planetary Defense Conference earlier this year, NASA representatives proposed sending a swarm of small spacecraft to explore Apophis. Thorough research on Apophis will undoubtedly lead to a deeper comprehension of the numerous hazardous asteroids that are always in our vicinity. The aforementioned missions will significantly contribute to our understanding of Apophis behavior, which will aid in the creation of efficient defense measures against these attacks. Prior to concluding this video, I would like you to consider something. How frequently have you pondered the stars, the size of the cosmos, and our role within it. I think it's intriguing. However, if you want to truly comprehend it, where do you even begin? That's where Brilliant, the video sponsor, comes in. The greatest interactive learning platform for math, physics, astronomy, data science, and computer science is Brilliant. Simply choose your route, and Brilliant will create the ideal learning experience for you. Their interactive methodology allows you to choose your own route and speed, 
transforming the learning process into an intimate cosmic voyage. What's the finest thing, then? You're actively solving issues and taking on some of the same difficulties that baffle the brightest brains on the planet, not simply watching and listening. For example, their astrophysics course is excellent. It's designed to take you from being an inquisitive bystander to a person who genuinely comprehends ideas like dark energy, black holes, and the laws of physics that govern the cosmos. Furthermore, Brilliant's explanations are like having a helpful professional at your side if you ever feel confused. The deal is this, I've worked with Brilliant to arrange a special offer for you. I appreciate you taking the time to watch.